router aren't really important. You could have a Cisco router, Juniper, whatever your and uh, whatever rocks your boat. Um, <coughs> The only thing that you have to bear in mind, I mean, th this one here is completely invisible to uh, this particular unit uh, and vice versa. However, here, one thing that you will need, obviously, is um, a some sort of reverse NAT or destination NAT going on um, on port 1194 UDP coming from this particular IP address, which is 194.16.18.1, going back to um, your VPN or um, your VRTA box anyway. Okay, this is MSR1. Let's call this MSPR2. This is client R2. And the next one we need, we need a Windows machine. See if we can find that here. Same path. WXP admin okay four routers and that okay how many land segments do we need let's start off with four I won't add them in yet okay let's give these guys some names so I want an MSP LAN MSP DMZ I want a client I want an internet and a client DMZ let's see how far that gets us Okay, so router one, which is here, let's see what connections it needs. Um, right, let's give it one out into the internet first, then to the LAN, then to the DMZ. This one will give it one to the DMZ, and that's all it needs. It's only actually got one. This green one is a virtual interface. Okay, client router one over here. The first one should be internet. The internal one should be well, it doesn't really matter. And then the DMZ one can be client DMZ. Router two, first interface is client DMZ. And the other one is an advanced adapter. And then this one is an MSP LAN. Let's get the order a bit nicer. Let's move that up there. And then router two, so it goes bump, 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 bump. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now I need to edit client two. This is a special sort of interface on here because its DMZ interface is actually going to VMNet three. Actually, let's change that back. Client 2, let's change that to uh, anything will do. Let's put that one there onto VMNet 3. OK, 
Okay, let's power some of these guys up. Let's start with MSP router one and client router one and WXP admin. I might as well start all of them up actually. Okay, I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to wait for all these guys to start up. As soon as they start up, um, I shall unpause the video.